we want people to find us and we want them to seek us out and we want them to find the buried treasure under the surface, maybe not even being all that revealed to them. This is a natural longing related to our deeply, deeply social mammalian and then primate and then hominid and early human evolutionary history. We of all children in particular, but adults as well, we all have needs for mirroring. In other words, for others to feed back to us what they see so we know that we're seen. You know, when you think about children, but also adults, sure, we, we would like others to respond to our wants and give us what we want, at least some of the time. But much more deeply than that, we want to know that they get what we want. They actually understand uh, or what we really, really feel deep down. It's very natural. And if we don't get that, it's, it's shocking and terrifying. There are uh, many studies that are done on young children, and the same is kind of true for adults as well. Uh, if you put, let's say, 10-month-olds in a high chair and have them have a caregiver that they know, a mom, a dad, an older sibling, a caregiver, let's say, sit in front of them, and the caregiver uh, has their face just go blank, just like that, very, very quickly, the children get very, very upset because they're not getting that mirroring back to themselves that they're seen, especially seen beneath the surface by other people. Right? When we get that need met, which is good, then we have opportunities for internalization. And that internalization of healthy recognition builds up confidence, feelings of worth, self-regulation, and resilience. That's the good news. On the other hand, when we don't get that recognition, when there's a shortage of it, or it feels like a thin soup, that tends to create a kind of hot, uh, needy, hungry clinginess toward others, pulling for social supplies, they're called, or narcissistic supplies, or the shortage of that recognition tends to create a kind of cool dismissal of that need for recognition in oneself and often in others. So you might think about your own background here. Did you have lots of good, healthy recognition of you in your childhood, youth, and adulthood so far? Or on the other hand, were some things missing or was it spotty? Uh, or did you only get recognition for certain kinds of things, like getting A's in school, but nothing else would do? Um, you know, so in terms of that history then, if there was some history like that for you, as there really was, of course, for me, um, how have you uh, been affected by it? 